What's up, guys? It is Dammit Bennett, and we are back here on YouTube for another episode of Dammit Noob, our weekly video tutorial series on getting started with streaming, uh, cool ways to uh, bring in and implement different things into your stream to make them unique and fun. So uh, hopefully you guys have been enjoying all of the videos so far. We've been getting a lot of feedback uh, lately from them. Uh, everyone seems to be enjoying them. Uh, I think the, the, the most fun that everyone's had is with the Kappa Gen. Uh, I've seen a lot more people use that, which is really cool. Really excited about uh, seeing that implemented across uh, at least the Destiny directory. Um, but anyways, Today we're going to talk about something that I'm super excited about. Uh, I was going to make this video last week, but um, there some things came up and um, it wasn't ready yet. <clears throat> so today I'm really excited to talk about uh, what is called uh, tweet alerts. So if you've been in any of my streams in the last week or two weeks maybe, you've seen something and then it disappeared and then it came back. And why I'm so excited is because uh, this company that had uh, developed tweet alerts is um, really onto something here. I really think they've got something pretty cool and uh, it is something that is uh, really neat to integrate Twitter into Twitch in a totally different way than just having your Twitter handle pop up on the screen. So um, once this launched and I found out about it, I was super excited. Like I was really pumped up. I love Twitter. I, I think it's a great uh, tool for any broadcaster to uh, expand and um, you know network with some people. So uh, this was really neat when it first came out. We launched it. We put it in the stream. It was a lot of fun. And then all of a sudden we were like, oh, crap. What if this happens? And um, I'm sure if you are on Twitter, you know that there's things as Twitter bots. And unfortunately, they usually are of the adult nature. So uh, the last thing that you probably want while you're streaming is some boobs to pop up on screen because some bot tweeted you or reliked your status or whatever it is that it is. And that would be bad because obviously that's against terms of service for Twitch and you don't want to get banned or your account, you know, deleted. So I like immediately stopped using it because I was like, there's no way to protect yourself against this. If their Twitter profile picture is this certain, you know, a picture of that, uh, that's bad. Um, you know, someone's going to report you for that. Uh, and that sucks. So um, I took it off that night I emailed the developer I said yo I love what you guys are doing I'm really excited about your product and there's only this one thing that I'm really worried about and that's these these bots because if they like the status bam all of a sudden this thing pops up and you got boobs on your screen we don't want that that'd be bad so what 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 can we do is there a way to hide the picture is there a way to like prevent these things is there any sort of moderation tools that you guys are going to plan to implement into this new widget and honestly they emailed me back right away it was pretty awesome i was very impressed with how quickly they got back in touch with me and uh in that email we talked about a bunch we had a couple emails uh, of correspondence going over different ideas and and um about maybe four or five days later they emailed me and said hey yo we we check it out again like it's we got it we got it and i was like okay i'm gonna go check it out and sure enough they did it was awesome. They've integrated some really cool features uh, to help you protect yourself because that's what's really important. You don't want to be using something that's a cool little widget and then it fuck you. You know, like that would be so bad if something like that happened and and that would just be real disappointing. So moving forward, very excited to announce uh, it's called Tweet Alerts. Uh, the website is tweetalerts.tv and we're going to pull it up right now here. Um, and basically this is what the page is going to look like. So, um, as you, uh, get started, uh, you're going to do like anything and you're going to log in with Twitter, uh, to kind of verify your account. So as we log in, we're going to see that they've got this kind of sample tweet here, uh, right for you to, to check out and you can choose some different templates. You could go with a dark you could go with a darker blue. I like the light one just because your screen's usually probably already dark when you're playing a game. Uh, but then you can also customize your primary colors. Uh, so uh, you can have a background color. We've got that as white and, and a secondary color is gray and black. Uh, you can choose your font. It's entirely up to you. You can even change the width of how long you want your box to be. That seems about good. So 
Over on the right hand side, we have some different animations. Right now for me, how I have it set up is I like to have it slide down just like that. And then when it is over, we're gonna have it slide up and out and it will go up like that. Um, we've got it on for a total of eight seconds. Um, if you wanted to put a little sound on it, you could. You just didn't, you find the, the file. Uh, it needs to be a live sound file on the internet and you, uh, you can upload that there. Um, and they have a sample sound if you want it. Um, and then you have your mode section. Now, this is always going to work. Uh, if anyone likes your thing, it's just going to happen. Uh, but then you can add automatically display tweets that can't contain a certain thing. I have it as containing at Dammit Bennett. So if anyone adds me during the stream, it's going to pop up on screen, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think that's a great way to interact with Twitter. Uh, it can bring some new life into the channel. Um, and then you could also do maybe a hashtag or, you know, if we hashtag Crabcore, like anything that was hashtagged as Crabcore would pop up on screen as well. Now, right down here in the bottom left hand corner, this is the section that didn't exist maybe two weeks ago. And um, this is really an awesome thing. So um, right now it is uh, for the the moderation uh, is got three different sections. Um, you know, the first one is show tweet picture. So if they actually tweet a picture of you or a GIF, they will not show this, uh, which honestly, as much as I would love to have a GIF pop up or whatever it is pop up, I'm not going to risk it. Trolls are trolls. It, super easy for someone to put some stuff up there that you don't want to be showing on your stream. So I would highly recommend that you make sure that this is on never. Um, the same with the user avatar, as much as I would love to have your personal avatar pop up on screen, there's a lot of them that are not appropriate and would break Twitch terms of service. So showing user avatar, I will also again recommend to be off. It will just pop up as this current uh, Twitter um, or their tweet alerts uh, logo is what will take over um, the um, actual picture uh, on every tweet. And then the really good thing is you can blacklist some words. You can choose whatever you want. Uh, my suggestion is find some of the bots that's that's been liking your photos from like uh, six months ago and and just kind of copy and paste those words in into this thing and then it won't show any of those. Now, you could use this in conjunction with the show user avatar um, right here by blacklisting certain words um, on that. And then usually if those words are used, bam, you won't see it, um, which makes it a whole lot easier. So these are all the options that are currently here, but they have a lot of cool things in the works. Uh, they have a vote for next features tab up here that I definitely would recommend voting on some new features. They also have a Discord server and you should probably follow them on Twitter. Uh, but these guys are super nice. Um, like I said, the, the email correspondence back and forth with them was, was really positive uh, and very quick, um, which is great. So I definitely recommend checking uh, Tweet Alerts out. Um, it's something that's pretty cool. Uh, I've really enjoyed integrating in, into the stream. Um, and, uh, you know, Twitter has has grown. The following has grown, you know, since I started using this over the last two weeks uh, with a little downtime in between. But regardless, pretty cool feature. So how do you get this into Twitch? So again, we're going to go up here. We're going to copy and paste this code. Uh, we'll make this window small again, and we're going to come back and open OBS. Now, again, I do use... OBS Classic for actually streaming just because of some of the other things that I've integrated with my stream. Um, this works the same way in OBS Studio. All you're going to do is create a browser source. So let's see here um, on this. We have it on all of these intros, don't we? No, we don't have it on this one. So we're going to add a scene to this one or excuse me. We're going to add a uh, source to this one and we're going to go with the CLR browser um, and we're going to put just uh, tweets I'm gonna put tweets in here and then we're going to highlight this and we're gonna copy and paste that. We're going to keep this at 1920 by 1080. Uh, that way it doesn't mess with anything. And I understand that it's gonna be super large, but we'll do some test tweets to see. So we've got Twitter up here. We may go like a status or two. Um, 
basically, let's go ahead and preview the stream. And there we go. So things are happening on screen and we want to edit this scene. So see where it's at, should be right in the middle. So we're just gonna go ahead and like this status and there it is. Now we can move this to where we want it. Maybe we'll put it right in the middle and it should pop up right back in and that looks pretty good. So let's like another, let's like another uh, tweet here. We're liking our own tweets. I know it's embarrassing, but still. Uh, there you go. So it's popping up right in the middle. Uh, again, you can add a sound to this if you'd like. It's totally up to you. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or hit me up on Twitter. Uh, we stream on Tuesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, so kind of whenever. And then on uh, Friday, it is during the day. That is our only kind of daytime stream that's scheduled for Sunday. Really kind of goes along with this video. Whenever this video is done and it's uploaded, we usually start streaming. So hopefully you can come by. Um, again, my name is Dammit Bennett. Feel free to you know share this with your friends. I would love to see this integrated more on Twitch. Uh, but hopefully you guys have a great day. We'll, we'll be talking soon.